Hey guys, Cam here from 9 to 5 Google, and a couple of months ago, Asus announced a brand new Chromebook Flip. I've been able to get my hands on it, so I figured I'd unbox it and show you what to expect in the packaging and give you my first impressions of the convertible Chrome based notebook. Now, first up, obviously, is the laptop in its own sleeve. There's also a user guide and a booklet with warranty information. As well as that, you get a separate wall adapter slash plug which fits into the power brick. Now with the power brick, the cable on the end has this connector which is a sort of bespoke rectangle shaped thing. But that's enough of the boring stuff, let's take a look at the Chromebook itself. Asus went with an all metal chassis on the flip, it has a really nice soft finish on the outside and if we open up the top, we get a look at the all black keyboard set into the metal body. And from the side you can see the gently rounded shape to the edges and the corners, there aren't really any sharp angles anywhere and when closed it only measures 6.6 centimeters thick. Now the lid features a prominent chrome logo along with a chrome finished Asus branding. What sets this Chromebook apart from others is the hinge that attaches the lid to the rest of the body. It's designed to rotate 360 degrees. Once flipped all the way over, your Chromebook now acts as a tablet and has a 10.1 inch 1280x800 resolution multi-touch display which auto-rotates to portrait or landscape. It may not be full HD but it seems sharp and contrast is good and colours seem great. This is all helped by the glossy finish. For a Chromebook, this has a generous number of ports and controls. On one side, there's a power button, volume rocker, a couple of LED indicators, and the power input. On the other side is a micro HDMI port, two USB 2 ports, a micro SD card slot, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. There's also a pair of stereo speakers underneath the notebook. Now once you've flipped the screen over, if you still want to get some work or communication done, you can type using a very Android-like virtual keyboard on screen. But if you're a sane human who'd rather type on proper keys, you'll be glad to know the Chromebook Flip's keys are close to full size and are adequately spaced apart. That's a pretty good achievement for a device which is essentially the same size as an iPad. Granted, it's a little bit cramped compared to a proper keyboard, but it's not horrible. In fact, I really like the feel of the keys on first touch. And it's set inside this gorgeous hairline brushed aluminium with diamond cut chamfered edges. There's also a nice smooth clickable trackpad built in. All in all, it's a very attractive device, and unlike a lot of Chromebooks, this doesn't feel cheap at all, and yet it's still competitively priced. There are two models of the Chromebook Flip, both powered by a quad-core rock chip processor with 16GB of storage. There's a 2GB RAM model and a 4GB model. They cost $249 and $279 respectively in the US. In the UK, the 4GB model will set you back about £250. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. Please do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you do like our videos. What else would you like to see me feature on this Chromebook? Let me know. I'll see you again soon.